What is up everyone? JD here. I hope you're all doing well today. Got a mail call for y'all, but the first thing I wanted to actually go over is I actually have this new work mat that I picked up with the black background. Let's get into it. So again, the black mat, I wanted to do this one. It has the magnetic pockets and everything for the tools way up here. <laughs> and I don't want to move it around because my microphone is sitting on the corner, but I wanted it a little bit more space. And also the contrast of the blue, I felt like washed everything out when I was trying to go through mods and disassemblies. So I'm hoping that this will really improve everything. But I have quite a few things. <laughs> to unbox today so let's go ahead and jump into a couple of the packages i think i know what everything is so i'm going to start with this one today's unboxing knife is going to be the kung Wu pulsar really enjoying this one a ton review video is out there make sure you check that out if you're interested in it uh, my shipping information is on this so i'm going to move it up to the top so i can make a cut get into the box open it and share what this is i know exactly what this is um i was getting low on the old stickers and they were a little bit smaller than i realized so i ordered some new ones and i went with four inch i think next time i'll probably go with three but i wanted some big ones and i thought it would just be fun to do something simple and then i did something just a little bit different i don't know if you're going to be able to see that but it's just thumb holes greater than thumb studs something fun to add to the stickers that i normally give away and there's some obvious extra stuff in there but those are the stickers actually we will leave those up here to pull back in later really moving quickly through that one but just new stickers for the channel i thought you know time to switch it up right uh la, 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 la. let's see here we will do this one first so this is not necessarily a knife but this is more for edc gear gonna have to make this cut off camera because man that is sharp i don't want my mailing information out there so here <laughs> i got i'm gonna put that in a recycling pile i needed a new lid for my arctic i actually dropped it and cracked it by accident but um that is not <laughs> necessarily edc gear but i found this budget wallet and i always carry a leather one and i thought you know it'd be interesting to check out my youngest son likes the metal so my oldest son he just has a traditional billfold um and my youngest he has one that has what looks like two pieces of aluminum on either side and it has the elastic band that he puts his cash in so i was just asking him about it well that's going to be a challenge there because it's going to pick up all the dirt but anyway i was asking him about it and uh, he said he really liked it but he's never tried a leather one so let's see if we can get in here and have a look at what this is so looks like it has the screws taped on to the box itself comes with some hardware oh it looks like it has an option for a clip money clip instead of just the band on the outside of here so let me see here okay so it has the elastic here that it looks like you just pull it apart as you install the cards and then it has the money clip and since i have the black redeem creation minimalist wallet actually i think i have that on me today yeah since i already have the black um and just for size reference for anyone that does have the redeem creation wallets i really like his wallets there there's an idea there 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 is an idea uh for the size the reference against the redeem creation looks like it has the tool and i guess this must be replacement hardware yeah it doesn't look like you need it for anything else maybe it's just replacement hardware just in case or in case you want to swap this out maybe okay so if you want to install this instead maybe they're deeper screws i don't know and then it looks like it has an extra band there so uh 
extra stuff is always welcome. <laughs> and I will do like a full review and update after I get a chance to try that out some. So where am I sticking these boxes? I'm gonna stick the box here, move the money clip up here. And then I think the next thing we're gonna do is get into this one because I think the last two items probably will be the most exciting. And you know, I didn't really think about this. So I might keep something off just to wipe that down because I do want to try to keep it neat to present. Uh, let me make the cut off. Okay. So we have, this one here is from White Mountain Knives. And, oh yeah, that's right, that's right. The Best Man Tech. That is a very nice case. Um, do I need anything else out of here? No, no invoice. Okay. That is a very nice case for what I ordered for this. So we'll leave that there. Let's jump in here and see. Best Man Tech. Best Tech Man. I keep saying that backwards. Best Tech Man is like their more affordable end of things. But I saw this on White Mountain Knives and I really thought it was interesting. It comes with a little carabiner. I forgot about that. But this is their titanium bolt action pen. Okay, so it's already loose at the top. That's not cool. Let's uh, loosen it and slide it over just a little bit. It was a little loose at the top. I felt something moving. But uh, titanium pen, bolt action. No extra refills. Definitely needs a little break in it. It feels a little rough. But just a quick look, I wanted to get the bronze anodized and I like the milling on here. Really nice looking, simple pocket clip. Is this for, what is that for? Is that to, to oh, my phone is recording. I am dumb. Is that like for tablets? No, it feels way too rough for tablets. I'm not quite sure. I have to go back and read the features, but comes with in this really nice case, um, a carabiner, I guess, if you wanted to hook your key rings onto this, I actually have, is this titanium too? Cause I actually have a big idea design. It is titanium, all titanium, all titanium. Yep. Whoa. It's up to uh, the pen cartridge. It must be metal because it's sticking, but it's not really sticking. Um, so this is cool because I might actually use this. I actually have a carabiner that I hook my keys onto that is titanium currently. Um, so that is what I use there. I'm just going to toss this here and I'll update you on how that performs if you're interested in pens. I just wanted an extra pen. Um, because I do a lot of writing in the office and it looked really interesting. I can't remember the price. So hopefully when I'm doing the edits here, I will put the price on the screen here for you on this one and I'll do a full review. So make sure that you're tuned into the channel for that one. All right, let's keep going. I gotta get cut into here. Oh, okay. So not too much. Oh no, I gotta make the cuts at the top too. Hold on one second. I got to make these cuts here in order to get down into the package. All right. So let's lift this up. Oh, did I cut the wrong side? I totally cut the wrong side because it's upside down. <laughs> Sorry. Give me one second. Okay. Totally wrong side. But I decided that I wanted to, imagine that, switch out the scales on one of my knives. And you know how much I love my original GOAT products. I have a couple of them. So if you are unfamiliar, there you go. And then I just got the, um, the their regular backspacer for the knife. Let's jump in here and check that out. Let me move the box out of the way, guys. So I got a little more space here. I did have to end up moving the camera down a little bit because I was just too far away before. Okay, so they did gray it out. I wasn't sure if it was going to come polished. So if you're not recognizing this, ugh, <laughs> this is for the AD 20.5. I currently have the Shark's Tooth 
or shark's teeth. I'm not quite sure which one it is. And I wanted to go with their original pattern because it is grippy, but it's a little less sharp. So I am gonna swap these over to that knife and I will do a full review, a full video on the install of the backspacer and scales just in case you didn't catch the original one that i did that on and i'll also do a full-on review that i'll tag onto the end of that video so i can go over the knife itself so i'll do the install as the first half and then um do the review actually i might do the review first for people that just want to know about the product and then just perhaps at the end add the install there so you can see how to do that so i'll go ahead and set that aside and i'm going to throw the rest of this in here i'm assuming this is in case you would prefer to polish it like the if you didn't want the raw finish you could polish it up like it came on the 8020s so that is interesting i'll have to decide what i want to do i have to decide if i want to leave it like that or if i want to actually i might keep that all that with the knife <laughs> i mean with the scales and that way i can leave the box out here with these other boxes in case you know when i need to ship stuff all right the last one here it has a bunch of stuff in it so i'm gonna try to just take a peek and make sure i am not cutting yeah into the product okay so we're in here, awesome, no invoice, which is great. But I was finally able to score. That's it, that's all that's in there. The data crew, what a slide. At least that's what I think it is. Hopefully I'll throw that up on the screen. Let's go ahead and jump in here and check that out. They got the pull tabs, come on now. All day, every day carry. Who is using the pull tabs at least fully? I had to use it towards the end there because I was cutting under the camera. Couldn't really see too good. Let's bust in here. So I have the um, Garage Built Gear Mighty Pouch Plus with the Velcro on it. And I have a couple of pouches off of Amazon. One smaller to carry in the pocket and one a little bit larger, more the size of the Mighty Gear pouch. So this is very interesting construction. Let's take a look on the inside real quick. It's got a nice full cover on it. The reason I was also interested in this one, because it does look like it's much deeper, it looks like I could possibly use this to replace or set up similarly to the Mighty pouch, but it looks like it's gonna hold some gear that I currently cannot fit into the Mighty Pouch due to the thinness. The Mighty Pouch, I don't carry in my pocket, nor do I carry the Amazon Pouch, that's a little bit of a knockoff like that, in the pocket. Now, there's a small one, the Gentle Stash, that one I carry in the pocket because it's small enough and it's really miniature gear that's in there. So this one looks like it'll facilitate what I need, but this would be something I would carry on hand with me or stuff into like a hoodie pocket or something like that. So that is everything that came in. We have new stickers for the channel. I'm going to move my knife out of the way. We got some new stickers. Uh, let me know what you think about those down in the comment. We have the wallet. I'm going to go over that and do a direct comparison to the Redeem Creation leather wallet. We have the original GOAT scales that I'm going to be installing on my Clip Point 8020.5. We have the Best Tech, I'm sorry, Best Man, Best Tech Band, Lord have mercy, I'm gonna get it right, titanium pin that was included all in this unboxing. So this was a rather large unboxing. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks to everyone out there that regularly leaves likes and comments on the videos. I appreciate the support so much. I hope all of you have a fantastic week. And until next time, peace.